Hi, and welcome back to Core 4 Adventures. We're back on the Central Coast today to bring you the Core 4 things to do in Los Osos, California. Los Osos means the bears, and it's on the south side of Morro Bay. Cute little town, can't wait to share it with you. Los Osos was founded in 1769 and is located opposite Morro Bay, just on the other side of the estuary. Its full name is La Cañada de los Osos, which means Valley of the Bears. Many visitors to the Central Coast don't even know this little town exists. Okay, so the first place we wanted to bring you today in Los Osos is the Elfin Forest. When you hear that name, you may think Lord of the Rings, but it really has nothing to do with those kinds of elves. The forest is just simply close enough to the ocean that the salt water affects the growth of the oak trees and makes them very short. The Elfin Forest is located just off Santa Isabel Avenue in Los Osos, just south of Morro Bay. There are parking areas at the end of most streets that lead to the Elfin Forest and connect to the boardwalk for some pretty spectacular hikes. 16th Street has accessible parking available as well. The entrance opens up to a network of boardwalks that winds its way through a landscape straight out of a fairy tale. The Elven Forest stretches over 90 acres and is home to rare coastal dune scrub, a delicate ecosystem that supports a variety of plant and animal life. Even though Los Osos is named for bears, they don't live in the area anymore. But you do have to watch out for mountain lions and coyotes. So one of the other cool things is that the Elven Forest is built on top of an ancient sand dune. So there's a lot of sand in the soil here. The resilient plants here have adapted to the challenging conditions of shifting sands and salty air that creates a one-of-a-kind environment. So on the other half of the estuary is Morro Bay. We were there just a few weeks ago and you can catch our video on the core four things to do in Morro Bay. We'll link it down below. And you can also see Black Hill right behind us. We hiked to the top of that to get the best views of Los Osos. Walking through the Elfin Forest and as you reach higher ground, you get a breathtaking panoramic view of the Morro Bay estuary. The Elven Forest offers a really unique vantage point, allowing you to appreciate the beauty of the bay and the surrounding coastal landscapes. It is truly amazing. One of the most captivating features of the Elven Forest is its population of pygmy oaks. These miniature oak trees are stunted by the harsh conditions and they add a magical touch to the landscape. I just love the twisted branches and gnarled trunks. The trees here grow to a maximum of 20 feet tall compared to normal oak trees that reach 50 feet in height. So if you ever make it to Los Osos, check out the Elfin Forest. It's absolutely magical. So next up on our list of the core four things to do in Los Osos, California, is Carlock's Bakery. It's an institution, family owned since 1961. They've got tons of great pastries, including donuts and danishes, pies, all kinds of amazing things. Come on with us and let's see what we can get. So we got the hamantaschen. This is one of their signature things. This is a raspberry and an apricot. It's a little pastry, kind of like a Danish, filled with a jam. Okay, that's really good. Light, flaky, almost like a sugar cookie on the outside with delicious raspberry jam on the inside. That one's a winner. So I couldn't pass up a chance to get a key lime tart. This looks absolutely delicious and I can't wait to dive into that. I love a key lime pie, so we're gonna give this one a try. Oh my goodness, yes. You can absolutely have the lime flavor comes through loud and clear and it is absolutely delicious. So 
So I'm gonna be trying the apricot hamantaschen, which is this German pastry, I'm assuming, but it looks delicious. That cookie, that pastry dough is so buttery and flaky and the filling is delicious. So I'm gonna try something. I'm taking a little bit of the crust from the hamantaschen and putting the key lime filling on top of it because this is like a shortbread cookie kind of consistency, really buttery and delicious. Okay, that's delightful. Why not mix your food? Give it another flavor, come up with something new. It is fantastic. And I paired mine with iced coffee. This is slow roasted coffee. They're a local coffee place. Absolutely amazing. I highly recommend it. The Darn Good Coffee is absolutely my favorite coffee in the world. That's the name Darn Good Coffee by Slow Roasted Coffee. Next on our list of the core four things to do in Los Osos, California is come out to Montana de Oro. It's one of the largest state parks within the state of California and it is right here in Los Osos. Check out those rocks right behind me. Very cool. It's a great place to tide pool at low tide. Montana de Oro is one of those places in California where you can see where the North American plate and the Pacific plate collide into each other and you can see all of that geological activity everywhere. It's a lot of hiking trails out here. There are horse trails as well. So come on out to Montana de Oro. It's easy to get here. Just follow Los Osos Valley Road and it turns into a stunning scenic drive leading you straight to Montana de Oro State Park. Montana de Oro is a pristine coastal haven full of breathtaking natural beauty. Spanish for Mountain of Gold, this park boasts panoramic views of rolling hills, sandy beaches, and dramatic cliffs that plunge into the Pacific Ocean. are full of marine life and Spooner's Cove is a favorite of surfers and beachcombers alike. And you've got to come check out the really big waves that hit out here at Montana de Oro. nature, you will love Montana de Oro State Park. It's one of the few places where you can enjoy the unspoiled Central Coast coastline. Of course, when you come to Montana de Oro, you're going to want to probably take a hike. One of my all-time favorite hikes at Montana de Oro is the bluff trail behind us. It's fairly flat, beautiful views, about two and a half miles long, but you can do just a portion of it if it's too much for you. It's a really nice trail. And if you're coming to Montana de Oro, don't forget to stop by the Spooner Ranch House and Nature Store for some unique charm and character. The historic Spooner Ranch House takes you back in time where you can learn about the heritage of this area. We explored the well-preserved rooms and learned about the lives of those who once called it home. It's always fascinating to see how people lived over a hundred years ago. So the final thing we're gonna do in Los Osos today is go taste some spirits. And we decided to come to Foggy Bottom Distillery behind me and have a whiskey tasting. So let's go check it out. Foggy Bottom Distillery was established in 2017. It began as a hobby and now turns out some of the finest whiskey in the area. They are open Saturdays from noon to 7 p.m. and Sundays from noon to 6 p.m. during the winter months. Check their website for operating hours over the summer. We will put a link down below in the description. We enjoyed a tasting of six different whiskeys. We especially liked the Diablos Miel Bourbon and the Barrel No. 2 Bourbon. This craft distillery is permitted, built, owned, and operated by the distiller. 
He is friendly and knowledgeable and explained the entire distilling process to us. It was such a fun place to stop for the afternoon and we even got a tour of the distillery itself. Don't miss this hidden gem in Los Osos. Well, that's gonna wrap up things for today. We hope that you enjoyed the core four things to do in Los Osos, California, like the Elfin Forest, Montana de Oro, Carlock's Bakery, and the Foggy Bottom Distillery. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you know anything else to do in Los Osos, California, please comment below. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.